Ray Tomlinson, the unsung engineer who changed the world's communication. It was 1971. In a laboratory in Cambridge, Massachusetts, the hum of machines filled the air. There, a 29-year-old computer engineer, Ray Tomlinson, sat alone working on a problem no one had even asked him to solve. At the time, a network called ARPANET existed, but messages could only be left for users on the same computer. Sending a message from one computer to another was impossible. Ray found this strange. He created a program called SNDMSG to transfer text files from one machine to another. But there was a challenge. How could the computer know which message was for which person and on which computer? He needed a symbol that could separate the user's name from the machine's name. His eyes fell on his teletype keyboard. There was a symbol commonly used in accounting but mostly ignored in daily use, at the rate of. It was a decision made in just a few seconds. He placed it between the username and the computer name and just like that, the basic structure of email was born. He sent the first test message from one machine to another in the same room. What was the message? Ray himself couldn't remember. Perhaps it was something like QWERTYUIOP. It was a historic moment, but there were no witnesses. Where are we today? Around 330 billion emails are sent every day. About 3.8 million messages are traveling through the air every second. Ray Tomlinson never patented his invention, never asked for royalties, and never sought fame. When Google honored him in 2012, he felt shy and simply said, I was just in the right place at the right time. It was no big deal. Ray Tomlinson quietly passed away in 2016, but every job application, every love letter, and every important message you send today is incomplete without the at the rate of symbol he chose alone in an empty lab. The world celebrates loud dreamers, but some revolutions arrive silently. Ray didn't change the world by shouting, he changed it by typing. Great work isn't always done with noise, sometimes it's done with quiet dedication and persistence.